Scroll at the bottom and look for the Insta Builder. At the left menu, click on the opt-in button for the opt-in settings to appear. Paste the HTML version of your autoresponder code at the box. At the subscribe method option, choose how you want your visitors to subscribe to your opt-in form, either by the standard method, or by Facebook Connect method. Enter your opt-in form title, then your opt-in form text. This will be displayed just below your opt-in title. Then select your desired form integration mode. The next step is to enter name and email field labels. These will be displayed inside the opt-in fields. Next step is to choose the button type. You have three options, pre-made buttons, text CSS button, or you can upload your own image button. Select pre-made buttons to easily add a button to your opt-in form. Just choose the best button for your opt-in form, at the field where it says short privacy notice text. Enter your privacy disclaimer text. This will be displayed below the opt-in form. Save your changes, click on view page button, to view the result of your new changes made. Our next tutorial will be on using the smart opt-in feature. When Smart Opt-in is enabled, InstaBuilder will try to remember your subscribers by dropping a cookie into the browser. Select your opt-in's thank you page. With this option your previous subscribers will be directed to this thank you page. If they visit your squeeze page again, and those who are not subscribed yet to your list, if they try to access your thank you page using a direct URL. A special URL will be generated for your thank you page. Use this same URL when setting up a thank you page URL in your autoresponder account. Our next tutorial will be on adding Facebook Connect to your squeeze page. To use our Facebook Connect feature, make sure you have already entered your Facebook app detail at the subscribe method. Check the box where it says Facebook Connect. People who subscribed via Facebook will be added to your autoresponder list. At the Facebook wall field, enter any message that you want to appear in your subscriber's Facebook wall. You can enter any text that you want to be displayed above the Facebook Connect button. Save your changes, click on the Update button. Now you see your Facebook Connect button. It's very easy to do that with InstaBuilder. You both can have the standard subscribe method and the Facebook Connect method in your squeeze page. Scroll down again and at the option where it says subscribe method, check both boxes for manual form submission and Facebook Connect. Save your changes by clicking on the update button. You have both the standard opt-in form and Facebook Connect button in your squeeze page. That's how easy it is with InstaBuilder to change the look of your squeeze pages.